Flash Gordon was a comic strip dating back to the 30s, which has since spawned an animated series, TV series, and of course the 1980 film. Two years after the movie's release, Flash Gordon would be released for the Atari 2600 by 20th Century Fox. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know if this is loosely based or based at all on the film. You play as the title character, flying through the spider city, shooting down enemy ships to clear the place out, and rescue survivors floating around in space who failed their missions to do the same. It's a shooter, but it combines elements of a maze game. It's split screen. The top half is the view of your ship, and the bottom half is the map. The objective is to take out these hatching pods, which are represented by the vertical dashes on the map. They'll activate and then slowly drift off screen. You don't have to kill all of them, but if you kill five, you get a temporary invincibility shield. Once you take out all the hatching pod spots, you move on to the next stage. The crosses on the map screen are called disruptors. If you're ever caught in one, you'll get hit with a shower of debris. Get the hell out of there. Or take out one of the generators that sail by to freeze it in place so you're not being followed, because ordinarily they'll be in constant motion. There's also standalone patrol ships that fly around, and the surviving spacemen you can pick up. Don't shoot them or it'll cost you points. The concept of having two screens to work with is interesting on paper, but there are issues with it. The biggest problem is that your ship gets too close to the edge of the screen, and an oncoming patrol ship could catch you, so you don't want to be looking at the map for too long, but you have to glance at it from time to time to see where the pods and disruptors are, plus there's no way you could possibly navigate your way around by the top view, you can't even see the walls. It's worse when you get caught in the disruptors, because you need to see the map to know what direction you need to go to get out of there, but at the same time you have to see where all the shit is coming from. So this really could only work if you were vertically cross-eyed. Bouncing your eyes back and forth gets tiring pretty quickly, and it doesn't help that the shooting portion isn't generally fun on its own anyway. There's either only one ship on the screen to shoot, six slow as shit ships, or a giant clusterfuck of shit. And none of these ships ever fire at you. I'll give the game credit for being ambitious. The split screen idea was at least original, but it wasn't executed well. Flash!